bit of a project I'm going to work on. Um, my Actually, my rigid table saw that broke here a few months back, um, I decided to replace that with a new saw. So what I chose was a Grizzly G1023RL. Um, so that, shot, that saw should be here, I don't know, in the next couple days. Um, the dilemma I have is that saw, I guess, full content of the crate weighs about 510 pounds. So I had the, the saw shipped to my dad's store. He's got a forklift and he'll be able to receive it off the truck. Um, so what I'll do is when I go pick it up, I'll put it in the back of my truck, but kind of a one-man show. So I kind of ran into a problem of needing to figure out how to get it from the back of my truck down to the floor in the shop. Um, so what I came up with is a like a temporary permanent lifting system that I'm gonna be able to put my post legs up and then I build in a glue lamb with a chain fall set up to where I can sling around the saw, use my chain fall, pick it up, drive my truck out, set it back down on the ground and then I can either put it on rollers or whatever I need to do to roll up to the location of my shop. So in this video you're gonna see me uh, constructing that. Hopefully the benefit of this is I can set this up when I need it and then I can remove the legs, store those somewhere else, and still retain the floor space that um, I have without this you know, being an issue. So without further ado, let's get to this build. First part of business is I'm going to clean up all this mess in that wall. What I'll be doing now is I've got these 4 by 4 posts that are 10 feet long. Uh, my ceilings are roughly 10 feet, but they're actually about, I don't know, 10 foot 3 inch, 10 foot 2 and 7 eighths, kind of depending on where I measure from on the trusses there. So what I decided to do was build these 
feet that are going to be out of two pieces of uh, two by four sandwiched together. Um, and it's a pretty good fit. The one side, it fits perfect. I don't want something super snug where I got to like pound it in, but I want it to be a nice, when I, when I remove and, and erect these, these posts, I want to be able to slide in, kind of have to get knocked into place so they're, you know, a nice snug fit. So the far post, it, um, it's a good fit with just the two two by fours. This close post right here is actually a little too tight. So what I, I'm gonna do is take about an eighth of an inch off. So I'm gonna run one of the two by fours through my planer and then that should be a nice snug fit. Alright, so what we got now is we got my got the post for this lifting device erected up. Um, I got a couple clamps up holding the the post plumb. And what I'm going to do now is make the feet. So I've already got them kind of cut. Again, there's the foot, which is kind of acting as a spacer because like I'd mentioned earlier, um, my ceiling heights like 10 foot 3 inches roughly um, so I, I'm gonna make this into a more of a supportive foot so what I got is some cut down 2 by 4s to act as sandwich plates to fasten the foot to the post and then I've got some trusses cut to um, just kinda add some rigidity to it not really for structural strength as far as my pick but just to kind of keep it a little bit more, keep the foot a little more solid and intact to the post. So that's what I'll be doing now is pretty much assembling these parts to look like that guy over there. All right, so now that I got the feet done on both posts, what I'm gonna do is I got to build another set of spacers that will offset the thickness of this four x four, which is actually three and a half. And then I've got where I built the glue line, it's actually four and a half. So I need to build half inch spacers to offset that difference so that I can put my upper guide rails on. So when I erect these posts, They'll naturally just want to self-align to the center of the glue. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be drilling a 5 eighths, 5 eighths of an inch hole through the center beam to accept a 5 eighths by, I'm not sure what length, but it's an eye bolt um, that I'll be hooking my chain hoist to to be able to raise and lower my uh, equipment, in this case to my table saw.
so I got this picked. I mean, this thing is not struggling at all. So, pull my truck out, set my ladder up, and lower this thing to the ground. There it is. So this picking device worked awesome. Uh, I've got an electric one, electric hoist that I might install on this, but uh, for the time being, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not looking for speed. This thing kicked butt. Um, so yeah, now it's time for uncreating this thing. Um, once to get it unboxed, I'll do a little overview on it. Uh, I'm gonna have to set on some rollers to actually get into its permanent spot, but I'm excited. It's working great. So it's got the Grizzly G1023RL saw offloaded for my truck. Again, this picking apparatus worked flawless. I can't wait to use this thing in the future. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I did kind of run some figures on it, I'm, I'm always nervous about things like that. Um, but anyways, so I thought I'd give you a quick overview of the saw. So I gotta un unbox the remainder. And then I've got that big guy, which I'm assuming is probably the rails for the top. But anyways, thought I'd give you a quick look. So far, this thing came. And it meant super clean. No issues with shipping. Don't see any defects. Super nice. Top's all oiled up. Looks like I got at least two insert plates. This one, which is installed, and one which appears for like a dado stack, but I'm not sure what else is inside those boxes, so there could be more. I don't even know. I'm just like so excited to finally have an actual saw, because this guy is actually replacing this busted, rigid, guy that's like an R4513 job site saw, this thing. It, don't get me wrong, it served, it served its purpose for a couple years, but it's kind of a bummer because I couldn't buy any parts for it when they broke, so decided to upgrade. So, can't wait to get some projects turned on in this. 